y'all. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining in or tuning in. So this is what I got today. I didn't get, I didn't do any busted bags. Well, one of them is busted, but the rest of them are not. I need some compost because I'm trying something new. Uh, y'all will see real soon. Hopefully it works. And then I had to get some worm cans. I got two bags for that. Two of the bigger um, tomato cages in several of the small ones. This is the vanilla plant. And then I got two more tomatoes, or three more tomatoes. Two tomatoes and two peppers. And that's celery. Just a quick video. Y'all take care. So y'all, that first um, part that you just saw, that was this morning. Well, really it was like 12 o'clock when I went to that Lowe's. That was the one by my house. And then I went to my physical therapy appointment. That didn't last long, so I stopped at a Lowe's over on that side of town. And I had my a different cart. And then I came in and they had these three bags of mulch right here. Two cubic square feet sitting on this cart. And he was, I was like, is that somebody, does that belong to someone? And he was like, it could belong to you. Um, they're only a dollar. I was like, okay, that'll work. So that's what I did. And they are really big bags, y'all. I mean, 56.6 liters. I want some of that much right there that he's getting, but they ain't got no busted bags. And I spent $90 at the first Lowe's because I didn't get nothing. I only had one thing that was a busted bag. Everything else, I could have got a busted bag, but I didn't want to because it was compost, y'all. I didn't want no compost in my car that's busted and wasting. So I paid full price for it. That doesn't happen often for me. So now I'm at this one. And I think I'm going to get some steaks from over somewhere out of that little area um, to post up when I plant my beans and stuff and TP it or whatever. So, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so I scooched these bags and I got these two bags right here. These are not... So these are not busted bags, but they're only two dollars and forty-eight cents. So that's still good. So y'all, I'm ending my day by cooking. I'm making some dirty rice, and I got some chicken legs in the air fryer that I've seasoned really well. And now I'm about to make some um, bananas. Air fry, not air fry. Get my mind off that air fry dehydrated bananas and apples and so I'm just putting some lemon juice in a bowl I don't know if I told y'all yeah I told y'all but I didn't show y'all me doing it so I thought I'd show this little part I'm not going to show me dehydrating because I've already done that and so all you're going to do is have the lemon juice there slice your bananas that big thin slices helps it um, dehydrate better when you place them on the racks you also want to um, spread them out they don't have to be way apart but just don't let them touch that also helps with airflow if you don't use all your racks um, still, like if you don't use all your racks with food on them, still use all the racks when you're dehydrating because it helps the process of um, drying the food out. And you're just going to take these bananas and put them in the lemon juice while you're prepping the other bananas or apples because I'm doing apples after I do this. Um, well, I'll do apples tomorrow. And I'm just going to take these and place them Let them 
soap that way they don't get brown I want to see if mine would not get completely brown and they were brown but they were still good as heck so y'all have a great night thank y'all for watching my vlog I appreciate it so much I'll be eating that piece right there um haven't liked the video go ahead and like it share comment down below um y'all take care remember if you sow something you will grow something and dehydrating is a part of your growing your prepper pantry gardening is also a part of you growing your prepper pantry because what you grow um you can dehydrate you can can so let's get busy planting, y'all. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel.